so when you're looking for the focus software and you want to do a little bit of open source intelligence gathering first thing you need to do is ensure that you have Microsoft SQL Server installed of some version or another. You can also download the software at the same time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to first off get Microsoft SQL Server Express. That should take you to the SQL Server download pages at Microsoft. So I searched for MS SQL Server Express Download and it wants me to take wants me to go to SQL Server Downloads at Microsoft. You should see a page like this. Scroll down looking for the Express. It's really all we need for this. Now it doesn't download the full installer. What it will do is it will download um, a downloader and installer package for which you can then start. I will be pausing this movie at some point, but um, we will get the basics going. So it starts up something similar to this, and then you can just tell it to start the install. Okay. You want to give it a place to install. As you saw, it was about um, 250 meg. It will take a while to install. I will pause the video and we'll pick it up in a sec. If you can get, you know, 25 megabits per second download speeds, it's not going to take too long. But hopefully, you know, you will have some good transfers. While this is downloading, you can also try and download the FOCA software. Um, this should take you to a Git repository will tell you where you can download and find the tools. Okay. I think if you look for FOCA software download, you might actually find Click here for the latest releases, that's what I was looking for. And it should take you to the download page. Now again, how did I do this? I just basically Googled for FOCA software, and one of the first results should be the link to the Git repository. On the readme on the Git repository, there is a link to download the latest release. So we might as well just grab the zip. There really isn't an installer, it's just a run package that you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to unarchive somewhere run it and then tell Windows it's okay to run it whenever it complains okay. as you can see the installer has completed the downloads and now it's just going through the install phase that too can take some time so at this point I've got the zip for the um, open source software called FOCA, we are going to unarchive and launch that executable. But we're going to wait until we have an instance of Microsoft SQL Server up and running with the default configuration. Again, I will pause and pick this up in a couple minutes. Once it has completed, it will show you that it has successfully created a Instance. Now you may want to copy that information and um, just have it available for you in Notepad in case you need it for the focus software. But chances are you're not going to need it. Um, the rest of these are just you know versions and folder information. But the the connection string that's pretty important. So I've grabbed a copy of that and we can close it down. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to 
move this to a separate folder. I'll put it, um, I'll just put it in my documents. I think I have an infosec. Let's put it here. And then we will unarchive it to the FOCA folder. I'm just going to rename that FOCA. And once you have it unzipped somewhere, with whatever process you want, you will find inside a foca.exe file. Double click on that and it should start up. Perfect. Now if you're having some configuration issues, you could probably tell it to use these database connection information. Using uh, the Windows credentials, don't use different credentials, just use the Windows credentials. If you're having problems, let your instructor so, once we have this, we can actually go and search for something. Now, I'm just going to call this one SANS. All right. No, I'm going to actually call this one. I'm going to give it a name here. SANS, as per the notes. And the website we're going to look for is SANS.org. Okay. We're going to create a project. And then we're going to tell it to search everything for everything and we're going to tell it to start searching we're going to tell it to search everywhere search everything and then we're going to tell it to start and afterwards it should start finding results here and again we're just using search engines to find out intel about other websites, but ideally for your own website. And I'm going to want you to use this for the assignment on open source intelligence gathering. Once it is done, and it will take a while, but once it is done, it will start filling in domain information. Okay, so it didn't like the duck, duck, go. So let's go back up here and see what documents it has found. Different files. It should have found. It should have found some more information. So let's go back, create a new project. Sans. We're not going to. We're not going to look at DuckDuckGo. We'll just look for Google, and we'll tell it to search for that. Hopefully, it won't throw an error for you, like it's throwing an error for me. Google, but Google isn't really, yeah. The problem is, is if you hit Google too many times, you're going to have to come back and try again because it's done too many requests. So hopefully you will get something similar to this result set where it actually shows, maybe not all of these, but it should show a subset or maybe even a superset of uh, these kinds of domains found when it does its search. If there's any questions again, uh, follow up with your instructor.